ever wondered which path leads to the industry and which to the pharmacy counter in Australia? Let's explore together. Hello everyone and welcome back to Academically. I am Sunidhi Shahi, your host and on this channel, we provide valuable insights and advice for students and healthcare professionals in the healthcare industry. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for the most recent updates. Today, we are diving into a topic that often sparks curiosity among aspiring pharmacy professionals, the difference between pharmaceutical sciences and a master's degree in pharmacy. If you are passionate about the world of pharmaceuticals but unsure which educational path suits your career goal best, you have come to the right place, so let's jump in. As you might know, many universities in Australia offer bachelor's and master's courses in both of these areas. Let's take an example of Monash University, which offers a three-year bachelor's of pharmaceutical sciences degree if you want to work in the pharma industry. By this, you can not only work in manufacturing, but also in discovery, formulation, medicinal chemistry, food and cosmetic industries. However, if you are a B-Farm or a farm deed graduate from India, universities such as University of Tasmania offers a two-year Masters of Pharmaceutical Sciences along with a three-year post-study visa. Similarly, if you go for a Master of Pharmaceutical Sciences at UTS in Sydney, you get a two-year post-study visa. But the good part is by getting into small city universities or regional universities, you can actually get a four-year post-study visa which helps you further in your residency. On the other side, if you opt for Master of Pharmacy M Farm, you are directly eligible to practice as a registered pharmacist in Australia, which means no need to take the CAPS exam. Whereas by enrolling in pharmaceutical sciences, you need to write and clear the CAPS exam to be eligible to work as a pharmacist, or you can also choose to work in any pharmaceutical industry. So to help you with CAPS preparation, Academically offers the best courses for you to excel. Head to the link in the description for more details. So my personal opinion would be to go for Masters of Pharmacy and kickstart your career. Reason for this is that after your bachelor's from India, the CAPS exam from India is getting more competitive with high cutoffs to apply for residency. I would also suggest that your best bet would be to migrate to Australia with a study visa in your hand and pursue a Master of Pharmacy for direct entry into the pharma field in Australia. Alternatively, you can opt for pharmaceutical sciences in a rural area to get a four-year study visa and then get an internship by which your points for residency would be good enough. This is because the fees for Master of Pharmacy is on the higher side as compared to the pharmaceutical sciences which makes it a bit difficult for everyone to afford. As we come to the end of this video, let me give you a quick tip. In the Western Australia, there is an occupation shortage list for the professions in which Australia needs workers. Even if your profession does not fall in that list, still apply and go for it. The only condition for this is that you need to be very exceptional in your work field. This will help you get the residency score to more than 85 and you can step into the journey of residency. 